Nation. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation? On the Travels with Buddy Station. Today is Friday, August the 25th. And uh, it was an awesome day today. Well, actually, it wasn't too awesome because we got a lot of rain today, huh? But so we didn't get a chance to go out because <laughs> it, it rained mostly all day. But it is Friday, so that's what makes it awesome. Friday's always an awesome day because it's the last day of the week. Right, bud? And today we're going to be doing some yoga exercises. We're going to be doing some relaxing yoga exercises. Exercises that will, that helps the body relax and release stress and tension throughout the body. So if you're, if you got a lot of stress and tension built up in your body, you want to make sure you watch today's workout because it's, it will help to relax and release tension and at the same time strengthen your muscles and um, help uh, increase flexibility in your muscles as well as m most of these uh, exercises do. Um, but, so without further ado, I will demonstrate these exercises. And did I mention today is the 25th of August? And this summer, <laughs> this summer is going by fast. Uh, but pretty soon it's going to be fall and we're going to be raking up the leaves. And that's always a fun thing to do is raking up leaves. And uh, that'll be in about another, maybe two months, maybe less. You know, New England gets cold fast. Um, so you want to enjoy the, the warm weather while it's here. All right, so without further ado, I will demonstrate those exercises. I just want to make sure Bud gets a little bit of camera time because uh, he's a handsome little guy. And I want to make sure he's in the camera too, huh, Bud? To make sure we can see you in the camera. And then I'll put you in the other room and you can chill out and have some water and relax. And the other room is air conditioned. Actually, it's not that hot today, but because we've got so much rain, it's it's actually, it's kind of humid. And I'm just gonna put it air back in the other room. That's why I got my air conditioner on. So I hope it's not too noisy. I think I whacked the camera. Well, that's still good. We can still, still in a good spot. I put the camera real close to the door. All right. So we'll do some relaxing exercise video, um, exercise techniques. We'll start by sitting with our legs crossed on the floor. And we're gonna do about five exercises. Make sure you check out all five of these exercises because um, some of them I, I, I've done before, but I'm doing them in, in, a, in an order. And in some I, I didn't, so I'm demonstrating some new ones as well. But um, some exercises I have done before, but I'm doing them in an order where, it's these, uh, where I can blend the new exercises in with some of the old ones where it, it makes a really good workout. So make sure you, you try these exercises in the order that I do them if you really want the, the full benefits. Or if some exercises don't work for you, just scratch them and just do the ones that, that you find are uh, good for you or that, that help you. All right, so without further ado, I'm going to take three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. And remember, it's very important to breathe when you're doing these exercises. Say the mantra. Um, namu. That means I bow to the teacher within. I can say that three times to get me in a, a more relaxed mood, especially after having a stressful day. So the first exercise I'm going to do, I'm going to start this exercise. I'm going to be kneeling in a kneeling position. You can do 
do this standing if you if you'd like. Um, it probably wouldn't be that good to do it or um, to do it sitting in the the crisscross. My legs crisscross the way they were earlier because my hands would probably hit the floor. Or you can even like sit up like this and do the, do this exercise. Whatever is more comfortable for you. Um, some people might find this. Well, if you have a this might be painful for your knees unless you have a uh, a mat or something you, you can kneel on. Basically, what you want to start with your with your palms facing your body and the back of your hands facing outwards. And you just want to inhale and bring your arms up as, as high as you comfortably can and exhale as you bring your arms down. You want to do this for about a minute. Really good for your shoulders. Remember, if you can't complete an entire minute, just stop and rest for a few seconds. Take a few deep breaths. And then continue on. You want to do this for about one to three minutes. Remember, inhale, you're coming up. Exhale, you're going down. When your hands are above your head, your palms should be facing outward. When you bring your hands down below your waist, uh, your palms are facing uh, towards your body and the back of your hands are facing outward. And again, you want to do that for about one to three minutes. Nice, I feel a nice stretch in my shoulders, my back. Next exercise we'll do for about a minute. I guess the dust on my rug over here. Um, this exercise, is a, this is a stretch. Basically, you want to sit back almost like you're you're, you're sitting on your on your knees. It's a really good stretch for quadriceps. You want to bring your, your arms out in front of your head. Then you want to bring your your chin down, tuck your chin into your chest. You want to hold this position for about one to three minutes. This is a really good stretch. This stretch is really good for your lats, your upper back, your hips, your quadriceps. And you want to make sure you breathe while you're in this stretch. And it's okay to move around slightly in the stretch. Inhale through your nose, exhale through the mouth. Nice deep breaths. Inhale as much as you comfortably can and then exhale through the mouth.
is on the that's really good exercise. Make sure you, you breathe deeply when you're doing that exercise. Very important. Very good stretch for the back of my shoulders, my lats, my uh, quadriceps, hips. Very good stretch. Next exercise that we do. Exercise you do laying on your back. And it's good. With this exercise, you might want to grab something over your head that's or behind behind your head. Before you do this exercise, you might want to just lay flat on the floor. Take three deep breaths. It's really good to help you relax. Release the day's stress and tension. In through the nose and out through the mouth. It's good if you can grab anything overhead, behind, behind your head, that'll stabilize your body. And just bring your hips up as far as you comfortably can. And you want to just hold this position for anywhere from maybe one to three minutes. And remember to breathe. After about 30 seconds or so, you start feeling a nice stretch in your lower back and your mid back, your, your hamstrings, and you also feel your abdominal muscles uh, engage and start to flex and work as well. So this is also very good for strengthening the abdominals. You want to hold this again for about anywhere from one to three minutes. Remember to breathe fully into the nose, out through the mouth during the exercise. And after about one to three minutes, take a break. About three deep breaths. You can feel all the muscles that you just worked just relax while you're breathing and you're laying flat on the floor. Next exercise, very similar to the one we just did. I'm gonna bring my feet up. This time I'm gonna bring my legs out as far as I comfortably can and then bring them back together. Come on, inhale as you bring them up. Exhale as you bring them back together. And do this for about anywhere from 12 to 15 repetitions. Feet back to the floor. 
stretch your legs back out, legs flat on the floor for about one to three, three to five deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Great balancing exercise, but it's also great for stretching the, uh, the lower back. And with this exercise, you want to just grab one, one foot. I'll start with my right foot. You want to hold it for about one to three minutes. You want to stand up as straight as possible to get the best stretch in your lower back. Okay, I think that was about a minute. I, another thing you can do is if you have a, a timer, you can time yourself for a, for a minute. I forgot to bring my cell phone in, in my workout room with me. Usually I, I'll time it for a minute. So basically I'm just counting the seconds. So I think that was about a minute. And then I'm gonna do my left leg. Remember, you don't wanna to lean too far forward. You wanna kind of stand up as straight as you, as you comfortably can. It really stretches the back out. I think that was about a minute. It might have been a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. The exercise felt really great. Um, you want to do that for about one to three minutes. Really good exercise, great for improving your balance, and it's also great for strengthening your legs because you're, you're, you're holding your whole body up on one leg, so you really feel your, your quadriceps and your hip muscles engage and start working, especially when your knee is slightly bent when you're doing that exercise. And if you and the, the, the more you stand up straight, it, it seems like the more it, it, it also um, it stretches your lower back. So it really, it's really good. It really hits that lower, uh, uh, most lower back muscles as well. Remember, if you like these uh, videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. Give these exercises a try. Have an awesome day. Keep training. And peace out, everybody.